Hi, my name is Nancy Verlage and I'm an educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. This is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at Dress Impression with Wrinkled Cowl by Karen Lamont. It will be helpful to have paper and something to write with to respond to the prompts in the video. Please pause the video to collect what you need. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to look at it closely. Start by letting your gaze wander around the work of art, taking notice of the details such as the material the artist is using and objects you recognize in the sculpture. Pause the video here while you take some time to look at the art. Viewing this work of art is a remarkable experience. Your first impression is looking at, a so at solid glass. But looking closer and at certain angles, the body-shaped hollow is visible to you. There is an incredible presence for something that is not there, a woman who is absent. You also see a beautiful dress with a cowl neck, which means it hangs and drapes or folds, and ruffles in the back. The viewer has a sense of the flowing material, even though the sculpture is so solid. Lamont uses a lengthy process to achieve the look of this sculpture. She developed the technique of glass sculpture that we are looking at. We normally see sculpture out of clay, wood, marble, and bronze. But this sculpture is glass. The special method of using lost wax of casting and then melting glass in the forms was something the artist worked on and perfected for years. It takes almost nine months to create one of her glass sculptures. She begins her process with research, which includes looking at how people dress, sketches, reading books, fashion magazines, and looking at figurative paintings and sculpture. She also travels in her research, specifically to Europe and Japan. Her process of sculpture has many steps. She uses everyday items in the making of her work that are unexpected. That includes irons, hairspray, sewing needles, and hair dryers. She uses those to dress the model. For this particular piece, she selected a human model and then made a rubber cast of the body of the model. Using the rubber ca cast, she applies the clothing. She then sets the clothing to be stiff so she can make another cast of the dress. With a negative cast of the dress and a positive cast, plaster cast of the body, she can then place it all in a box that will have glass bars over the negative cast of the dress. The box is then set into a large kiln. A kiln is an oven that is really, really big. The temperature, 1400 degrees Celsius to 1600 degrees Celsius, is so hot the glass melts into the box. Then it slowly cools. It takes about two months to cool correctly. The figure of the model becomes a negative space and the glass becomes the positive sp space, which is the shape of the dress. As you can see, it is a very complex procedure. Describing her interest in exploring the sculptural possibilities of women's dress, Lamont has said, Clothing both protects and projects. It is armor and costume, plumage and camouflage. What do you think about that idea? There's a saying, the clothes make the man or woman. Do you agree or disagree? Look at what you're wearing right now. Did you take time to pick out that outfit or just throw something on? Let's think about uniforms, military, or school. Would you wear the same thing to school that you would wear to a dance? Did you agree or disagree with Karen Lamont about clothing being both protecting and projecting? Please stop the video here and write down a time that you were told to wear something and how you felt about it. Pause the video. Great. Clothing and fashion is always an interesting subject, and I am sure there could be a lot of discussion about this theme. 
in scale and technolo technological complexity, Lamont's life-size cast glass sculptures are unique. The artist's dedication to realizing her dramatic creative vision prompted her in 1988 to move to the Czech Republic, an international center for studio glass production. She still lives there. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.